You know, growing up and also when I first went on tour, there was sort of the standard grip that the players used and it was much weaker, uh, more to the left than there is now. In fact, if you had the standard grip that they use on tour now, guys like Gardner Dickinson, the old guard, come up to you and they'd pat you on the back, son, you're never gonna make it out here on tour with that grip, you can forget that. In fact, that, that's the line of thinking it was. I remember my good friend Greer Jones, who was the best young player with Jerry Hurd and myself, he had a strong grip and guys would say, he's never gonna make it, but he was one heck of a player. But let me show you the differences. The old grip uh, from the 60s and 70s, even into the 80s and early 90s and how it's slowly come to the position it is in now. So when I first came on tour, you'd pretty much grip it like your hands were together and then put your hands on it. So the, your wrist lined up real straight because you're in this position and you, you swung neutral here. The wrists work like this. So, and they all, also work here. And so you'll notice that this arrow right here on the grip from the 70s, even in the early 80s especially, was pretty much at your right eye, right ear, somewhere in this area here with both hands. See the V here? That one matched it. This was at the right ear. This was at the right ear and it had a different hinging. In fact, the fall through with this grip, if you'll watch when the guys came down, they would bring the club straight down. That was your straight shot with the V's pointing, this arrow pointing right at the target. Now it's totally different. The technique is totally different. And uh, here's the difference is now instead of the hands being this way on the club, the hands are way over here. So the wrists really line up at a sort of a strange angle, but um, this is a power grip and it, what it does for you, it allows you to pull a lot more with your left tricep and get more arm speed without losing the ball to the right because it's a hook grip. So you get the, the guys get the hands this way and the way they make it work uh, on tour, and I'd say eight or nine out of 10 players do this. Watch this right here. They get here and at the top, they have this angle here, but at the top they go pretty much to flat. And I want you to come and watch where the position they're in now. If I don't change anything, look where the club head is now. This is where they are at the top of their backswing. You see this right here? So to offset that, the guys add shaft angle. So they add shaft angle to square up the face. And then the other part that they do to make this new grip work is when they go through, and again, eight or nine out of 10 of the players on tour, when they fall through now, and when they come down and watch the shot, if you'll watch, their palm is pointing exactly at the target. Our old position was here, the new position is here. So this is a huge change in the game of golf, a huge change. And I can't say that it's a bad one because the guys are hitting nine miles with their irons because they're making a five iron into a three iron at an impact, making their wedges into an eight iron. So they're hitting wedges now 160 yards or something. We used to hit a wedge 120. So you might want to try it you definitely will get rid of your slice as you move your hands this way. You have a tendency to hook the ball more, and that should help a lot of you know, get more distance with your irons.